She is one of the pioneering leaders, of course, and uh, next presenter, I believe she has a lot of remarkable stories to tell. She was a formal financial management professional for over 15 years uh, prior to joining Genesis uh, Global. And of course, the first time at e-commerce scene as well. She is now one of the top distributors with businesses in more than 100 countries. Ladies and gentlemen, USA Double Diamond Director, Yvonne Yen!
there's also a group of individual. They work hard. They do work hard. But somehow, maybe they miss the direction, or sometimes they run into some challenges that they cannot see the clear picture. So today, if any one of you, doesn't matter how long you have been with us, if you do want to go to the top, today the presentation is for you. So they are in, to me, there are three steps to, found, to find your new horizon, to have the new discovery. And that on me, I used to be a financial professional. I worked very hard. But even with a hardworking individual, I thought I was doing well. But boy, only until I get into Jeanette's families, I realized work and life can be so much fun. You can enjoy the process. You can truly believe that you also deserve the good life. And in the process of doing that, we have that privilege to be able to extend the, the help, the assistance, the sharings to the people around you. So there are three steps if you want to also join us. Not only join us to the Iceland, but also join us to have a truly quality life with the purpose, with the meaning. The three steps are for you. The first step, is to, you need to, first of all, you gotta design your tomorrow. That tomorrow could be five years later, could be 10 years later, could be tomorrow. The second step, you have to embrace some values. Because in these communities, who do, who are we? We are entrepreneurs. If you want to make the money, enjoy the success as an entrepreneur, you do need to embrace the values that is being created and being believed by most of the entrepreneurs around the world. The third step you need to do is you need to live the design. Design is not a noun, it has to be a verb. So these are the three, three steps that I would like to share that with you. In Chinese, it's basically, it's huofa, xinfa, and zuofa. This is a combo arrangement. Unless you go through this step, these three steps, you will not be able to have a clear pictures in this journey. Because I do hope each one of you in this room that you can end the height and deliver your dream, realize your dream in a short period of time. So let's talk about design your tomorrow. Ask yourself, what is the lifestyle I want my family to have? If you read my sentence carefully, I did not say, what is the lifestyle I want to have? Very recent, I lead a group of 500 entrepreneurs internationally to do an exercise. I ask them to write down, what do you want to have? You know, most people would say, well, I want financial freedom. I want time freedom. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah. But somehow I feel it's a little bit cliche. It doesn't touch me. Then I changed the question. I asked them, if you get an opportunity, what kind of lifestyle you want your family to have? Ever since I plug in the family into their new horizons, I see they write down, they read, they shout out the truly life they would like to have. They say, I want to provide the best education to my children. I want to provide my family the best quality of life. And they are very specific. I want to send my kids to certain international schools. I want to be able to bring my parents to travel around the world. And I even want to have certain cars, certain income with specific numbers. So I ask you, if you want to have a tomorrow, don't write down the general goals. Write down something that touch you. Write down something you can feel, you know what, I get excited when I read it. So that is the guideline. I encourage all of you, when you go home, do this exercise. Have a drink more. Buy the magazine. With the picture, with the interior design of the house that you dream to have. And for gentlemen, do you like cars? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I heard women like cars this day too. <laughs> okay, so you can cut down the idea dream car of yours to put it on your dream board. Because trust me, every day if you read 
your goals, your dreams, and read and, and see your dream cards, you are going to have a relationship with your dream. And you'll be much faster to realize your dreams. The second principle to design your tomorrow is after you know what you want to have, now close your eye and ask yourself, what options do I have right now? And without changing a bit, that your current job or your current business outside the genetics would truly provide you the lifestyle that you want your family to have. You know, you don't have to work in genetics. You can just be a great consumer. Does that make sense? Yeah. But I believe 90, 90% of the people, when they truly write down the dream line they, need to, they want to have, suddenly they realize if they don't make any changes, they cannot get to the lifestyle they want to have. So the reason I want you to check your reality, because I want you to know by being on this platform, it is truly the only option and the best option you have. Sometimes I say working is like a religion. It's not the religion of going to church or going to temple, that's not what I meant. But when you truly love your work, it has to be like a religion. Because you believe what is called religion, it means the outside environment will not be able to change you. When you truly, truly, truly believe this is the best option I can have for my families, you don't care if other people say this is not going to work. You don't care if other people reject you. You don't care if there's a traffic that you don't want to see your friends. Are you with me so far? Yeah. I want you to truly, truly embrace and believe this is the best option you can have. So, after you design your tomorrow, you need to embrace the values. If you agree with the values, I'm going to share that with you. <coughs> the journey will be easy for you. The first value, please, say this with me. I can and I will. I can, I can and I will. You know, look at the qualifiers or the diamonds when you attend the, the international expos. Diamonds are not prettier or handsome than any one of you. Do you agree? Yes. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, one thing really opened my eyes ever since I joined Jeunesse is I truly witness how these platforms can be leveraged by any simple common, ordinary individual. There is a saying, I may not be better than others, but I'm just as good as others. The very first step you have to do is believe you can and you will. If there's nothing you learn from today's section, please have that confidence in you. There is a giant inside, living inside you. If you say, I will and I can, don't worry about what your circumstances it is right now. Don't worry about your ranking right now. Don't worry about how many members on your team right now. When you program yourself, say, I can and I will, you are half of the way. So can you say, I can and I will? I can and I will. How many of you would like to be on the stage at the next annual anniversary? Yeah, me. me. How many of you? I believe you can and you will. The second value you need to embrace is life can be better with my efforts. How many of you, before we join this platform, we think the life is being set? But one thing I like about this platform is there are always surprises. There are always excitements. But in order for you to really leverage these platforms, you need to put in the efforts. There's a saying, the only factors you can control in life is the, your efforts. Jeunesse has been an amazing platform. We can realize our entrepreneur dreams just by becoming a member. We don't need to worry about the overhead. We don't need to worry about the product. We don't need to worry about the customer services. We don't need to worry about having our own websites. Everything 
is being put together by GNS Global with this robust systems. And all we need to do is put in our time and effort. Does that sound easy? Yes. I have met so many traditional business owners on these platforms. When they truly understanding about GNS business model, about GNS compliment, they were shaking hands. They were shaking their heads. They say, man, I feel I'm so, my life has been so miserable in my traditional business owner, in the traditional business world compared to GNS. How many of you truly enjoy the life in GNS? How many of you? Hey. Until today, I'm humble and blessed. My business has been around 100, co 100 countries. But listen carefully. I have zero staff. I don't have an assistant. I don't have an office. It's just one person. But with the benefit, the privilege to leverage the team, leverage the platform, I'm the truly an example of the new paradigm. In the past, the old 20 years back, when you look at a company CEO, what, how will you describe a company CEO, a, a, a business CEO? Maybe a big suit, a big car, a lot of staff, a lot of assistants, a fancy office. Are you with me so far? Yes. But today you are looking at a new CEO of a business. But what I have, is the freedom. I don't have the office, I don't have the staff, but what I have, I can breathe the air internationally and still be able to, to produce. So this is a platform. To me, is a truly a new paradigm. So make your efforts. Are you okay to put in the efforts? Yeah. This is a truly a business. You gotta put in the effort. If someone tell you, come in overnight, you become rich. Don't listen and walk away from the statements. This is a legitimate business. You do need to put in the efforts. But with the leverage of the technology, this is a new econ economy. You are able to condense your efforts, maybe from 30, 40 years in the traditional world into two years, three years, or four years. But all you need to do is put in your efforts. I think this is a very good deal. Is this a good deal? Yeah. I think it's a pretty good deal. The third value is, what am I willing to give up? If you like the diamond lifestyle, do you like the diamond lifestyle? Yes. Do you like the weekly commission of a diamond? Yes. Then ask the diamonds, what have they been giving up in exchange for this platform? When I first joined Jeunesse, I have two beautiful young daughters. My youngest daughter was less than one year old when I joined Jeunesse. And I remember every time I left the house, you know the story. The children always want to know, when are you coming back? So I learned the habits. Whenever I travel, I try not to call home. Why? Because the moment when your baby listen to your voice, they start remember you and they want you. So these are the steps that I have to put it in to build my business. And if you ask me, Yvonne, will you do it again? I tell you, I will do it again and again. Because yes, I did work hard in the beginning of the business, but now I travel internationally maybe every one month or every one, uh, one and two months, about seven days or 10 days. But look at my schedule. The rest of the times, I can spend the quality time with my two children. For those of you who don't know, five years ago, I retired my husband. <laughs> so the lesson today you learned if you want to retire early, how many men want to retire early today? So two methods. One is either you work hard in genius. The second option is ask your spouse to work hard. You get the same return. So now my two 
children, one is in high school, one is the fifth grade. All my core leader, they know, they, they, they work with me closely, they know the business time of my day is from three o'clock to seven o'clock. Because in USA, the children finish school, they end their school day around three o'clock. So what I do is, my husband and I would drive to pick up the two children. And when they come home, we fix some snack or dinners, and then we spend time in the house. So I don't know where in the world you can find this kind of quality life, that the entire family stay together under the same roof from 3 p.m. till the rest of the day. And how I get to this kind of lifestyle is from the sacrifice I made. A short period of the time to sacrifice, and you can exchange for the peace of mind for the rest of your life. I used to be a working professional before Jeanette. After college, my first job, I'm, a, I, I'm on the management for a financial service firm in Los Angeles. And I know many, many working professionals. They have sacrificed their time for work for 30 years and 40 years. At the end of the day, they still would not be able to get the quality life they want to have. So I think staying in Jeanette is a pretty good deal. You have a balanced life for a few years. After that, you still have an imbalanced life. And what I refer to the imbalanced life after success is you travel around the world. You are able to have your own schedule. But you do it out of freedom, you do it out of choice. So the third step you need to have is you need to live the design. Once you write down, the lifestyle you want to have, you want your family to have with the dream board. Do you want to put that into a reality? Absolutely. So there are a few guidelines. Number one, you want you to be able to identify your wants. You also need to pledge your commitment. Last but not least, you need to equip yourself with the basics. So to identify your wants is very simple. Write down. What do you want in three months of time? Because if you know how to deliver, how to meet your goals for the short term, you will know how to meet your goals for the one year and three years. I know Malaysia just celebrate the greatest month for October, am I correct? Yes. In the back, before I did the, we did the diamond parade, Chris Cooper told me, hey Yvonne, we just have the best month ever. And I said, Chris, what if we make the month of October to be the same month every single month from this point of all? Would that be okay with you? Yes! Hey, it is doable, it is possible. I give you examples. I still remember when I tried to fight for rubies many, many, many years ago. How many cycles you need to have to get to ruby? 200 cycles. And I still remember when I get to 100 and then fighting, fighting, fighting. I think I met my ruby like two days before the month end. So as I watch 190, 191, 192. For those of you who fight the ranking, you know what I refer to, correct? So I say after I get to ruby, I say to my leader, I say, man, Ruby is so hard. I don't even know how to get to diamond because diamond cycle is what? Five times of the ruby. Well, I gotta tell you my friends, I only make that statement based on my limited understanding. Will you truly believe the power of dream, the power of the platform? I tell you, in a few years, getting ruby is not a one month production for me. I'm very blessed. A few years ago, I have maxed out my cycles. You know the max out? Do you know in the comp plan, when they tell you about the max out, you understand the max out? Yes. How many cycles in the max out? Yes. So that means every month with the five weeks of the calendar, I have 3,000 cycles a month. Oh. Month after month. If you do 3,000 cycles divided by 30 days, how many cycles a day? Huh? Do you need a 
the letter? Oh, you are shocked. 3,000 cycles? What is 3,000 cycles divided by 30 days? Yes, that's my production because the computer limit. I can only cycle 100 a day in GNS Global. Woo! The point I try to make is a few years ago, fighting for Ruby in the 30 days of time range is already killing me. But boy, I'm glad I'm with a great leaders. Show me the power of dream, the power of potentials. Now, 200 cycle is just my two days work. <laughs> so I want to use my story to tell you, Malaysia, whatever you did last month, it's not one time. It can be every month. Would that be okay with you? Yes. Whatever additional income claim, whatever you make in October, what if they, with your hard work, with your belief, they can become your weekly income. Would that be okay? Yes. Would that be okay if they become your daily income? Would that be okay? Yes. Someone's heartbeat is moving fast. <laughs> it is okay. If you don't have the face, follow my eyes, follow my ears, follow my belief. I know you will and you can. Yes. can be done. You need someone to tell you whatever you experience in the month of October, it can be your monthly activity. You don't need to wait till another new product to hit the production high. With your persistency, with your hard work, it can be done. How many of you would like to fill these rooms I don't know, we have 600 people in this room. What does that make you feel if you bring 600 people from your team to attend our next anniversary? Do you think it's possible? Yes. And start with you. It is doable, it is possible. You just need to have that belief, and if I can do anything to help you, it's my story, it's not an exception. It is an example. So identify your wants. The second step, you make sure whatever you write down, you get excited. If you don't have any feelings, that's not your goal. By the way, how many of you in love before? I know someone said, Yvonne, that has been a long, long time. And I hope your spouse was, is not sitting next to you, okay? So do you still remember the first time you see your future spouse or you see your girlfriend or boyfriend? Do you still remember? Yes. Come on, have some fun. Can we have some fun? Yes. Can you guys lose a little bit? this group. Husband. Do you have a first love? Yes. You still remember how you feel at the first eyesight. You feel nervous or you feel excited, correct? I tell you, when you write down your goals, identify your wants, every time you read it, if it doesn't get you excited, that's not the right wants. Simple guideline. Write down something that you have a feeling. Write down something that whenever you, Im you imagine, it will get you excited. So that is a guideline. After you identify your wants, simple. You need to pledge your commitments. There's no free lunch. This platform already be able to condense your effort from 30, 40 years of hard work into a few years. You just need to com pledge your commitments. So very simple, ask yourself, if you are able to get the lifestyle that you just write it down, the ones that you are going to have, if you can have whatever you make in the month of October to be your weekly or monthly pay, how many hours are you willing to put in a week? Simple. And then ask yourself, out of those weeks, out of those hours in the week, how many people would I connect per week? I often say our business is very simple.
simple. Coffee to coffee, latte to latte. Or titare to titare. <laughs> Whatever the drink you like to have. This is a belly to belly business. I know about the internet, I know about cell phone, but please, this business is still life touching business. Don't do the, the meetings over the phone if you can meet in person. When you share the story, look at your friend's eyes. Listen. And you will realize suddenly you may be able to offer the help, offer the vehicle to your friends. So simple, ask yourself, how many hours are you willing to put in and how many people are you willing to meet? That is your pledge. Last but not least, equip yourself with the basic. For this business, I mentioned it earlier, there are so many ordinary individuals can get to the top. We don't need a rocket science, we don't need a PhD degree to do this business. But there are some few basics you need to equip yourself with. The first one, learn to tell the story. Learn to share the story. Not just share your story. Every time you come to an event like this, borrow other people's story. You have a goodie bag with you. Every time, whenever you see a business owner, you can borrow another business owner's story to share with him. When you meet a nurse, you can share other nurse story with this nurse. Learn to tell the story with your heart, with your feeling. I encourage all of you, have a workshop with your team. Try to tell the story to your team to see if your team feel touched. Because if you cannot touch your team, I guarantee you, you will not be able to touch your friends. So learn to share the story from the heart. The best story, as simple, is from the heart. The second basic you need to have is learn to promote the events. Because the effect that we try to put collectively to put together in an event like this is not something I can create alone. So plug in to the events. Your company events, your team events, because it's through the events, people see the face, see the belief, people can feel this is a life-touching business. The third one is if you want to expand your business, you need to have an SOP, standards of procedures. Imagine, how can a world person like me be able to have a business around the world? We have an SOP. We have a standard procedures. We have a template for people to share during the one hour meeting time. After people decide to join our business, we have a few videos, we have a few guidelines to tell them what they need to do. Instead of me telling them in person, we have the tools that the team creates to help us to expedite. I call this, it's called Central Kitchen. You don't need to be the expert on everything. You know, if I were a traditional business owner, when I hire an executive, I have to go over every single detail with the person, and there's no guarantee the person will last. But if you have a standard procedure in the place, I don't need to teach this person by myself. I can leverage the tools, the procedures, so that the person can learn in the most efficient way. So if you want to make your business big, you need to have an SOP. I'm sure your team leaders can help you on that. Last but not least, this is a life academy. This is not just about the business. You want to aim to improve constantly. The best way to learn the business is not by book. The best way to learn the business is by doing it. If you are new to the business, ask your leader. When they do the meetings, when they lead the team, can you sit next to the person so you can learn? There's a saying, leadership is not to teach. Leadership is to learn. Don't expect people to teach you. When you really have the desire to be a better you, the sources, the resources are always there. So there's a story. I would like to end my talk with this story. How many of you heard about Egypt? Egypt, IT, Egypt. Oh, by the way, what if the company take us to Egypt for Woo! next incentive trip? Woo! How many of you like that idea? pressure is on you. So there's a, there's a story, there's a culture in Egypt. When people live their life 
on this earth time, when their souls go to the heaven, and there's a gatekeeper at the heaven. So in order to determine if this particular soul can enter to the heaven, they need to be asked, they, they, they will be asked two questions. The first question is, have you found joy in your life? The second question is, have you brought joy to the life of others? When I read the story, I feel very moved. And I reflect my journey with this platform. And I'm very humble and proud to share that with you. I can yes, answer yes and yes to both questions. It's because of this platform. There's a saying, doing what you like is freedom. Liking what you do is happiness. If you have been looking for a platform, not just money-making vehicle, but truly in the journey, in the process of doing so, you'll be able to find a purpose and meaning and extend your experience to share with others. I invite all of you to be on board with us. Because I hope one day you can say to yourself, you have made the best decision because you have found the joy in your life and you have brought joy to other people's life as well. So with that, I wish Malaysia to have the record months months after months. And we hope the company will consider to take us to